things about america i'll just specifically talk about america because i'm in america and i've not been to other countries to settle you know okay i've been to tanzania but i'm not gonna talk about that so mimi sitakuwa kama wale watu wanapenda kuambia watu oh sikuje huko ni kugumu ni kutafu afadhali hata ubaki kenya huko ni you know to some extent see it in rice being in america sijakata it can be very hard and extremely hard wacha kwanza nikwambie the minute unatoka kenya unakujanga huko america ukiwa na ile perception ya ah naenda huko nikishuka tu ndege hivi mimi naanza kuoga na pesa ho oh, nafika huko eh hey, lazara zaka yo amgeni Unashtuka kama meza the settling down initially the first months are going to be hard to a point you're going to feel like guy kwani did i make the worst mistake of my life kwani yani ndio american nimekuwa nikitamani hii ndio dream life yangu nimekuwa nikisema oh the, the land of honey sugar and milk and all those things you know cuz uko na ile perception ya wuki fika to america ni soft life immediately wuki fika to america maisha ina jipa no one stop, no one prepares you how hard it's gonna be trying to settle down in a new country i believe even in other country but akuna haja tudanganyane ama tupotezane just the fact that it's going to be very hard for you settling down here and kwanza it can be tougher and harder depending na ile nje yenye umekuja na every exp- everybody's experience is going to be different my experience is going to be different from the other person mwenye alikuja directly na green card mwenye alikuja na student visa mwenye alikuja na visit visa all of us are going to have different experience pia mwenye amekuja hapa na green card na visit visa unaweza pata mtu alikuja na green card but amepata a worse experience than mtu mwenye amekuja na visit visa because pia other factors play uh, a role like mtu mwenye ataku host that's actually like the biggest role it a depend when your experience yako initially when itakuwa hapa kosa zingine unafika hapa unapata watu wanakutupanisha wanakumislead hao waku unajua like so before hata mambo zako zia lines inaza take time unaweza anza kushangaa guy kwa nini i'm having a miserable life na ni kwa sababu pia watu wenye mekosta wataki kukuonesha the right direction hata nikwambie kuna video niliona ya kibe me i'm one of those people wenye siski zangi kibera spendi content ya kibe for obvious reasons eh, but hiyo i happen to stumble upon it on tiktok kama sijui ni wapi alikuwa anaongelea kuhusu venye wa Kenya na America wanakuanga wacha nikwambie people say that, like the first thing you need to fear here at you need to fear culture you need to fear racism you need to fear you know all those kind of things you would think you need to fear after you land here the pa- the person you need to fear the most fear your fellow kenyan na kwambia wa kenya huku wanatesa wa kenya wenzao mkenya huku atafanya mkenya mwanzake akua deported mkenya huku anakuja na host mtu anamweka kwa nyumba ataki kumlead anamfanya house girl anamtesa hamwambi information mtu anakapa maisha inaharibika unashangaa guy indo american ilikuwa na tamaa nyingi cuz let me tell you in this country without information of how you'll maneuver around you can suffer you can suffer and i won't lie to you but ukikuja upata watu wana kuset uh, set poor depending na ile pia njoo umekuja nayo okay kama mimi nilikuja na visit visa visit visa nikafanya adjustment of standards but for a few months niliteseka kidogo because your period before kufanya adjustment ndio upate SSN na work permit let me tell you life can be hard because kuna kanamba kanaitwa SSN ni country ako kanamba ni kashie yani literally it's like you're not able to do anything without ako kanamba hata even owning a mobile for number it's so hard uwezi kuja hapa tu rent nyumba na una SSN na una work permit au una proof ya ya employment au una una need to record sign yani mambo zingine so inabidi ukuja hapa uanze kutafuta mtu mwenye atakurentishia room ama mtakosishia na room hiyo is another disaster wa Kenya huko wanate sana na hiyo kitu yani si kama wa Kenya tukifika hapa tunafaa kwa brothers and sisters unajua kitu moja nimekuja kugundua the reason why Kenyans are broader so bitter and they are so evil wanatakanga wakijoweni ni ukama the same way they came here and they suffered wanataka upitie the same the same same the same way wali safa wanataka ufike hapa usafe so unapata walifika hapa hakuna watu waliwachana wanga ama ili take time before wachanuke so wanataka ufike hapa pia uteseke ukae kwa nyumba uelewi what what you're supposed to do next uteseke the same way wali teseka so ndo napatanga wa Kenya wakijonga weni ni ukama wanaweza kutesa wanaweza ku mislead alafu unajua hii country sasa zingine vitu ziko straight forward but what Kenyans don't know is that you can make google youtube your friend ndio uweze kujua like ukifika hapa unajaribu kuangalia like how to get a deal how to do this how to do this you know jitafti information ongea na watu kadhaa usionge tu na wale watu wenye umeku invite hapa ama watu wenye unakana ongea na watu different talk to people 
the best way you can ever help yourself ukiwa abroad information information is power ukiwa hii country na wacha nikwambie usifuate tu kitu yote tu mkenya anakuambia hapa mkenya anaweza kuambia tu kitu kwa sababu wako malicious kwa sababu she he or she just want to be evil. and then those people take advantage they will exploit you they will manipulate you they will... guy wacha nikwambie story nimesikia na story nimejionea mimi siku moja nitawapigia story zangu moja safi story moja safi experience yangu ya venye nililanda hapa and everything that happened to me me by the way niliteseka niliteseka emotionally na financially venye nilifika hapa a few months but you know those are the things ukaza sema ile time yenu napitia especially for someone like me who is in the limelight ukisema tu mimi ni mtu naweza taka ku share real time but ni share real time tutapata mtu cuz i knew like ni kwa muda tu itakuja ipite i knew better days are coming so ninge share hiyo time ngepata watu wanani ridicule so ngepata ninge share real time ninge patana na watu wanani ridicule wanasema oh ulikuwa na kimbi huko US ukidhani ndio kuzuri wewe arudi nyumbani kama US imekushinda you know but deep down i knew better days are coming because for someone like me i knew eventually very soon i'm going to get my green card cuz i knew the hospital is going to facilitate my green card sponsorship so ni kwa najo tu nateseka kwa muda ite mimi nangojea like a process ka but you know the adjustment of status is not going to happen overnight i was going to have to stay here for 90 days after 90 days my lawyer did my adjustment of status and then after it was done and it take like about 5 months to get everything but the first thing after alifanya adjustment of status within one month nilikuwa nishatolio ka ss na work permit maisha yangu ikakuwa rahisi sasa so from up on ndio nilianza ngaku feel eh at least maisha imeanza kuingiana smooth and you know ukiwa na sasa na ss na work permit at least maisha inaanza kukuwa softer and then pia hata venye nilianza ngezo jobs za care giving by this ilikuwa ngazi kona pesa but pia unapata maybe initially before stabilize maybe you are paying for you know especially kama mwenye nilikuwa na pay for for your adjustment of status ilikuwa costly na lipa lawyer and then bado so unajua nikiwa Kenya nilikuwa nishaanza ngai process na agency so ile time nilitoka na ngana agency wakanipatia nga Uh, nini ukanipatia nga invoice ile pesa yenye nina wa o kwa sababu sasa nime break contract na wao i had to pay them back it was a lot of money so na bado nimefika tena after a few months nimechukua gari which i was paying monthly so nikapata tengeneza do but niko na bills za hapa niko na bills za nyumbani tunakoshia na mzazi mwanza hiyo wakati i'm still helping my sister you know i had a lot of things so na para tengeneza do alafu nashanga wa niko america na make pesa na bado pesa ibaki kwa ni what's the problem bana so you can feel like that hey design nyingine pia yetu kwa naongelea kwa insta stories unatoka home ka mimi already by the time nilikuwa ninatoka Kenya nilikuwa nishazoea ka soft life i was driving like my hubby had been promoted tulikuwa tumeenda in another country and we were living in a posh area you know so niko na gari i'm driving a, a good car and then we are living in a in a posh area in a good house nini nafika hapa and then i don't have a car kwanza in this country without a car you can suffer you can suffer i'm not like to you and then sasa na kitu kingine nimetoka huku nimefika hapa alafu mwenye ameni tumeanza tumechukua nyumba na yeye tunakoshia anaanza kunitesa na mambo ya rent you know so unaanza kufeel yani mimi niko hapa ninakaa nika nina beg kwa sababu ana take advantage anajua siwezi pata nyumba on my own na mdependia na lease yake ndio yeye yeah, ana a, 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 kisha rent na kosha so anajua tu siezi rent on my own so you know na vitu kaizo zinafanya watu na take advantage cuz you're depending on them so na feel like guy kwani nimetoka from a point of luxury to a point of suffering i was already used to my own car i'm driving sina shida i have a good house somewhere you know living a una kaka you can afford to take to trips to vacations to nini going to good hotels umefika hapa you're not able to afford that anymore unasema guy me i thought like coming to america it's actually going to make me afford those things more. Kuna wasana wengine pia wanafikanga hapo wakidhani wewe utafika hivi umelanda hapo tumepatana na mzungu pale wa kupatia soft life. Unajua Kenya hasa zingine something about Kenya ma babes wa Kenya hata <laughs> without work unapata nga babes anakaa hivi every weekend kwa Mombasa. Eh hey, huku ni ngumu vitu kai hizo zihappen. Na huku watu wanadhani anga akiwa Kenya. Ah mtu akiwa America utapata tu mzungu hivi. Na unapata anga wase wa Kenya wasena wanakuambia si nitafutia mzungu. Sijua nadhani anga wazungu wako tu pale wanaongoja tu an African beauty ajitokee pale wamchukue. <laughs> We hata hao wazungu by the way wanaanga pesa saa zingine huku. If anything wa Kenya huku wanakuwa na pesa kuliko Anyway, I'm here to encourage all those people who might feel like ah it's like I made a wrong move. Yani nilitoka Kenya, I think I was living better in Kenya than I am here. It's going to be hard. It can be really hard settling down here. It can feel like you made the wrong choice, but 
trust you me trust the process it gets better kama mimi from a point yenye nilikuwa last year and where i am right now i can tell you things get better inataka two week country ujitume mtu kama mimi nilikuwa nawapatia example i have a full time job where i'm required to do three shifts in a week siku tatu tu in a week so na baki na siku ina siku ina sasa nitaka off nikifanya nini nimekaa tu nde I'm not that kind of a person. Na jitu manga so na kwanga nimechukua job ingine another second job pale nime sign contract ya PRN which means I take shift according to my availability. So nikika even as feel ah hizi siku ine naweza chukua another two more shift in this other hospital. Una pata ina nimeki ya dopo wa bi weekly na make do fit sana. So una pata I'm able to pay my bills. So yeah, najipata I'm able to pay my bills, I'm able to pay taxes na bado na baki na savings no 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 kitu yenye haiko ina happen last year when i just landed here cuz i used to work na deplete pesa yote na baki negative 74 na hadi na ngoja sasa the next two weeks cuz huku tunalipango by weekly so ya yeah, two weekly kiingia ni shamaliza yote imeisha sasa ni two weeks ninaka negative 74 mpaka the other paid in two weeks tena nalipwa nalipa vitu negative 154 <laughs> That was my last year. Last year nilijipata kwa negative mara tatu but this year na nipa bills and taxes zimekatwa nini na nabaki na kitu fit mpaka naangalia bank yangu nasema kai na dance dance hivi mpaka saa zingine I feel like wewe sitaki kutumia pesa isiishe. Kwanza bank nikiangalia venye ni mnono nasema ai nitajipata na tufaa kulipa kitu ya 500 ama 300 ama 1000 nasema shit. But life is good here. It is truly So just because you had a difficult time settling down here does not warrant me to come here and start telling people it is difficult don't come here ukusipoa this land is truly the land of honey milk and sugar that one i can testify yani kuna kwanga na opportunities mob sana it's land of opportunity land of money as long as ujitume you're going to be okay and it's kawaida it's normal for people landing here even in another country it's normal ukienda huko before you know mashimo ni gani ku maneuver ni aje ni wapi nitatengeneza pesa ni how ni how sasa hiyo ndio inakwanga the most difficult part before welewe it's how it's how nitatengeneza pesa wapi and where na kabla upate watu wa kuchanua roho safi ah wa Kenya huku nje si ni maroho chafu so hivyo so bitter tuko na full of competition na tutaki kuambiana information tutaki kusaidiana so unapata uta struggle mpaka upotee mpaka ujipate ukijipata ni hivyo umeomoka big up